thank y'all for rocking with me on the channel. It's been some growing pains with the videos, with my lips not matching my voice. I promise I'm getting it figured out. We're gonna get into today's topic right after the intro. All right, welcome back everybody to the Felix Black Show here on YouTube, your number one source for purple pill content on the internet, not just YouTube, on the internet. I wasn't going to speak on this topic, but I've been seeing there's a lot of videos about the Dwight Howard situation, and he's been responding to people talking about his personal life, right? I get it. A couple things I want to say. You're right. Dwight, it does not matter who's in your bed. It does not matter who you're putting the wood to, as you said, right? It doesn't matter. Got it. I agree with that. However, however, what matters is that you're being accused of a crime. That's the only reason why we're talking about this. It is a big deal because you're being accused of a crime. There is a video on my channel. I'm talking about Dwight Howard playing basketball in Taiwan. There was a big deal being made about it when he moved to Taiwan. He was putting up some crazy good numbers over there. And everyone was saying, why isn't he in the NBA? Why is he not playing for the Lakers? Why is he not playing for the 76ers? And I said, one, those stats in Taiwan are hella inflated, right? Because he's playing against accountants and plumbers. Now, it's not a competitive league, right? It had nothing to do with his sexuality. As a matter of fact, there are plenty of videos on YouTube right now prior to this whole scandal situation, whatever you want to call it, talking about him doing some questionable things to teammates, right? So it's not like this is the first time this has been brought up. He had some questionable behavior and questionable actions, and people took note of that, right? In the form of videos. You can Google that if that's what you want to do. So it's not a matter of your preference. That goes along with the story. We're not the ones who, have, who had this story break and had these allegations come out. We're just reading the news, okay? If you had been accused of this with a woman, we'd still be talking about this because the story, as it continues to come out, is wild. <laughs> it's, it gets wild. It's like a trap in the closet uh, series. So it's not necessarily the fact that it's with a man, two men. That's not the core of the story. The core of the story is that you have allegations of kidnapping and sexual assault. That's a huge deal, whether it's to a man or to a woman. Like That is the problem here. So we're not asking, I'm not asking, but news outlets ask the question just for context, because this is a free day and age, right? Be proud of who you are. Admit to who you are. Okay, that's fine. I don't think that that is the bigger part of the story. It makes the story just more unbelievable, right? It's your house, it's your rules. Who you sleep with is no one's business. Who you put the wood to is nobody's business. But when it becomes illegal activity, Yes, people are going to talk about that. And that is the only reason why we're talking about that. If it had just been you were spotted out with a man, I mean, I think that would have been like one, one or two days, and then that would have been the end of it, right? Because now we're confirming what things people have been saying about you before. But it's not that big of a deal because when you weren't getting signed in the NBA, People were actually on your side and saying, hey, he's pretty good. He still has, you know, a, le a lot of minutes left in the tank to play. Why is he not getting signed by teams? Not knowing that all of this is happening in the background. So you have to understand that you have 
public support from, from people. You didn't ask for it. Got that. It's not really important, but you have public support from people. Meanwhile, there's this whole other backstory happening where it's been reported that teams got wind of this or they knew something about this, something about the allegations before it became public knowledge. Hey man, it's public knowledge. You cannot tell me, you, 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 you cannot tell me if you heard this story about damn near anyone walking this planet who is a celebrity, you would not have questions, right? So a celebrity is texting with someone through Instagram. Okay, that's fine. It happens to be a male. Okay, that's fine. Y'all make plans to hook up, meet up. Okay, that's fine. But where we start getting into, hold on, man, like what are you doing right now? Is when you surprise that person with a third person, right? That's where we start getting into the, what's really going on here type stuff, okay? Now, if that person is cool with it, there's no issues. It's called consent, right? We need that. Men and women, we all need that. But if that person is not comfortable with it, you then do not continue to go on with what you want to have happen. These are just the allegations. I don't know. I'm just going by what I read, what I've seen in video. Do I think the person that he originally was talking to is trying to discredit him by outing him as being homosexual. I think that definitely plays a part into it, trying to break his image. But we really don't care, right? I don't care. I don't care if Dwight Howard is gay, if he's bi, if he's pansexual, I do not care. He can't play in the NBA. I'm a huge NBA fan. Check out my NBA videos, that's on my channel. I'm a huge NBA fan. He cannot play in the NBA. I don't think he has anything left to play. Right. And I said that in the, in the Taiwan video. So that's it for me. <laughs> that's it. But when you start, you know, having rape allegations, sexual assault allegations, kidnapping allegations, I don't care who you are. If you're a celebrity, then people are going to talk about that, man. And if you want people to stop, you can't control it. If you want your business to stay private, keep it private. I've always said when you're a celebrity, unfortunately or fortunately, because if you're a celebrity, that means hopefully you have some sort of wealth above the normal uh, person to walk in this planet. So then you do not have the same abilities that we have. Us normal people who go to work every day and make a living can we talk to someone through, through Instagram and stuff like that and meet up with them? Yeah, you can too. But if it goes south for you, it goes south for you. It doesn't go south for us. Meaning, not even with the sexual assault allegations, it's if that person outs you as what you're doing or we've seen other celebrities um, being caught on video and being caught with cameras from people that they're with, parties. Oh, look who I'm with, look who I'm with. They have to sign NDAs and all that type of stuff. Because if it goes south for a celebrity, it goes pretty fucking bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. But from watching the interviews that he's involved in, I don't think that he really understands that. You just want us to hear about kidnapping and sexual assault allegations, you doing things to people against their will and surprising them with stuff. And you just think we're gonna be like, well, oh, okay, it's none of our business. Oh, it's not, it's none of our business, but it's being shown to us. And that is actually, what? Like it makes you go, huh? Like seriously? There's regular people doing regular shit on Yahoo and on, on YouTube and we still like, huh? Really? Like when a person gets caught doing some crazy stuff, huh? Like really? 
So it's no different for you. Like we're not giving you any extra attention. We're not, we're not trying to research and find out what you're doing. This was presented to us when you were sending messages with him to him, when you were meeting up with him and y'all were in whatever location y'all were at. It sounds really, really vague. <laughs> when you, Y'all were doing whatever it is you do, laying the wood and all that type of stuff. Nobody was talking about that. Like we didn't, we don't care. We didn't care. But when you're like, oh, I'm, I'm being held against my will and I didn't give consent. Hold on now. Really? Like, really? Because there's no excuse for sexual assault. No, no, no. You don't condone that shit at all. There's no excuse for that. And I hate, the, I hate the way that this is going to sound, but I'm going to say it. And there's no excuse for it when you're a celebrity. Because I'm pretty sure you have enough people consenting to you. Right? I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not. The fact that someone said this happened is amazing in itself. You know how people say, you know what? I can't make, I can't make this shit up. <laughs> I can't, like, I can't. That sounds like one of those stories. If it's really vague, there's not a lot of um, specifics that come out. It's just a general story. Okay. But the details of this story are pretty specific. Pretty specific. So forgive us. If we are the court of public opinion and it sounds true, it sounds interesting, it sounds different, right? We didn't ask for that to come out. The person you were dealing with put it out there for public consumption. So that's what we are doing. We are reading the news. We are watching the videos. So don't be, don't be mad at us because we didn't invade your personal space. We were invited into it. I, I was just simply on YouTube and I was invited into Dwight Howard's world and what he has going on. But I agree. Who you're laying the wood to is none of our business. It's your house. It's your rules. You do what you want to do. However, whatever it is that you do, you do that shit legally. Until the next one.